1990, um, I had started out in the world of massage and ultimately began to realize that I was only one small piece of the pie with regard to helping people heal. And I needed to start um, coordinating my care with other professionals and practitioners who had skill sets that I didn't have. My concern a lot of times is working with structure, alignment, um, words that we often use as far as subluxation. And we work with therapists here whose concern is more soft tissue. And combining the two, I think uh, studies reflect that people get better quicker. Well, it's kind of like a miracle. You can't hardly believe what happens with this treatment. And it's different from any place I've ever been. My technique is gentle, and I think, I think people look for that. And release, that's good. Well, Dr. Gottenberg is an absolutely fabulous team member. He and I have worked together for more than 20 years at this point. And, and uh, of course, my work as a muscle therapist means that many, many times people have uh, structural needs that are, are chiropractic in nature. And to have a resource like him with his specialty has just been absolutely phenomenal. The marriage of those two sciences together, treating the muscle, the soft tissue structure, and also the, the, the skeletal system is absolutely inextricably linked. You have to work them together. We use something we call a symptom survey. It's a it's a list of questions that may seem redundant, but it allows you to answer the question based on the severity of a symptom. When we're done, uh, we enter those answers into a computer that provides a detailed perspective of your health or an overview of your health. We use another thing called a hair mineral analysis, where we take a sample of someone's hair, the results come back that show us levels of minerals, and based on comparing one mineral to the other or its relative strength uh, tells us things about your adrenal glands, your thyroid gland, your metabolism, in fact what you're eating. We're here looking for the welfare of the patient, number one, and if I'm not the right person then we need to get that person to Dr. Gottenberg or Dr. Wheaton or Dr. Anders or whoever on staff is qualified to address that. And, that, and that, uh, to have that kind of relationship between all of us together requires humility requires humility, that you work together and understand that I don't have all the answers and we need to work together collectively to help people get well.